Hello everyone, my name is Precious Irero. Um, naturally, I studied agriculture at the University of Benin. I like to see myself as a farmer, but also I'm a digital marketer and that is what I've been doing before I found interest in software development. The motivation for this particular project is, you know, it's quite hard to get apartments in Lagos naturally. And when you check all the sites around, everybody is targeting the whole of Nigeria. And it's quite um, not easy for professionals to come down to Lagos, maybe in their first three months, and they want something from Lagos, something just for Lagos or Lagosians, and it's quite hard for them to find something like that. I work in the real estate sector, I do digital marketing for one of the top real estate companies in Nigeria. So I understand this. And that was why I said, okay, this could be something that would work better for them. But my major motivation was because I actually like how things work. I wanted to see how things were created. And every day I do digital marketing, I run ads for the website, I do SEO. I'm always fascinated about how the website work. And I told myself one day I would like to understand how this was created. I tried my best to learn on my own, but it was not going as I wanted it to go. So I said, one day I will find time to do this myself, and here I am today. So the particular um, programs or languages I use for this project, I use HTML for the markup, then I use CSS to style it properly, then JavaScript, Ajax and jQuery for uh, to get the uh, the user interface working properly. That's for the user interaction. So when you click on stuff, you get to get responses immediately. Then uh, for the database, I use my SQL Workbench to uh, to that was to model it properly so that I could cover everybody I want to target, which are mostly the agents, and do some other great stuff like uh, the uh, database and table relationship. Then we come to the big one. The language I use is called PHP. PHP, like you all know, has gotten a lot of backlash. People tell you PHP is dying, but I don't think this language is dying because it brought my dream to life. So I use PHP as my major language, and in PHP, I use what is called object-oriented programming to achieve what you'll be seeing shortly. So this is Lagos Property Center, the name of the project, and for Lagosians to get properties in Lagos. So naturally, if you are a user and you are interested in renting an apartment in Lagos State, the very first thing you would be doing, that is if you're already aware of our website, is to come to the link. So right here, I already have the link open, but I'm going to refresh the page. So this is it. So let's assume I'm a user and I'm interested in renting, let's say, um, a three-bedroom apartment in Lagos. So the very first thing you do is you land on the site and you could make use of our navigation bar. So you have all properties, which list all the properties on the website. Then you have the for sale, property, for sale properties, which is a filter that brings out just properties that are for sale in Lagos. Then you have for rent and you have the agent, login, register, and post property. So you could start from what you want, your intent, which is to rent an apartment. So you go for for rent. So clicking on for rent, it shows you a list of properties that you could actually pick from. So you scroll, you make your choice. Let's assume I want to go for, um, I want to go for the, the five bedroom apartment right here. So I click on it and I get more information about this particular property, the agent who posted it. So naturally you would want to get more information about what you want to rent out. So you can use the slider. This slider is working with jQuery. So you use the slider to check more pictures about the properties. Then you get more information. When you scroll down, you also have details of the property. And if this particular property interests you, you can actually contact the agent immediately by clicking on show phone number. And when you click on show phone number, you get two ways to contact the agent. You could use, you could call the agent by phone or you could chat them up on WhatsApp. So if that doesn't work for you, you could also always go back to the home page, 
and you can make use of the search filter by imputing maybe a location or you could select your, the property mode or the type that you want. So you could select something like, um, maybe you could say four bedroom. You could search with that only, or you could go further and uh, make your search more narrow by selecting a mode saying for rent. You could also filter it properly by selecting um, Lagos. We have all states in Nigeria here, but it's something we'll work on shortly. Then you click on search. As you can see, previously when we clicked on for rent, we had a lot of properties, but now you've been able to narrow down your search by uh, saying you want uh, a four bedroom in Lagos and there is it, you have one property right there on your screen. So when you click on it, you see more information about this property again and you can check through the images. You get more information about the property description as posted by the agents. And also you see more details which are on the table for you to just know more about the property at a glance. And as a user, this particular property interests me. So all I have to do is click on show phone number and this property was posted by Obama Estates and this is the agent's phone number and his WhatsApp number. So as a user, I'm just going to take this contact and I'm going to contact the agent and my property rental journey starts properly offline thanks to Lagos Property Center. Now that is that for the user journey. The site also is majorly targeted to service agents. Now agents are the content uh, producers, the people who are going to put up the posts or the listings on the websites. So as an agent, you have your properties that you want to rent out or you have your properties that you want to sell. What you need to do is, Ideally, we believe that you already know the link of the website or you found us through an advertisement while you were scrolling through your Facebook feed or one of your friends sent you a link that, oh, there's a new website in town and you can post your properties and you will get people who are going to buy them from you or rent them, out, rent them from you. So the next step for you is to come to the site. When you land on the site, you try to, naturally, you try to post your property because it's telling you right there that you can post your property. So you click on post property, but you are not a registered user because this is your first time and you can't log in because you actually don't have an account previously. So you have to register at first before you can log in, then before you can post your property. So I'm going to register an agent account right now. So this agent will be called Samuel Samuel Smith and his username will be Samuel his business team will be let's say ideal real estate His email address is samuel at gmail.com. His phone number is 070-6392-0039. Password. He has to confirm his password. To be certain, he's not going to forget it. Then you select the state that is going to be posting from, or the state is, resident, is a resident of, then his city and his area. Then he selects whatever he is. Ideally, he's an estate agent. So as you can see, it has been selected by default. So your Samuel is going to register his account. Registration successful, please log in below. So before Samuel can post a property, he needs to log in. So we're going to log in Agent Samuel now. So Agent Samuel is logged in and this is his dashboard. Now the next thing for him is, he could check his agent page, which is this page right here, but there's not much going on. So he could go back to his dashboard and fill out his information properly so he can have a lot of uh, info on his agent page. So we are back to his, um, his, his, his edit profile page. 
Now he can impute his, his, um, his address. So you have 43. For the three nine mile avenue, Lagos State, then you can impute a second phone number and his WhatsApp number can be included here too. See, he cannot edit his username anymore, neither can he edit his email because those are unique fields for him. And also, he can decide to change his account type from being an agent to maybe a property developer or a property owner. Then also, if he has a website, he can put that up too. So we just put in a dummy website for him. Then he can select his company logo, if he has one. Okay. Or an image of himself. Then a little bit about his company. We are a great real estate company in Lagos. Services that he offers, let's say rentals. And if he has a Facebook uh, profile, we could just make use of our dummy website for that. So his Facebook profile, his Twitter profile, his LinkedIn profile. And now that is his profile being uh, completed successfully, all he needs to do is just to save. So that has been done. So he has a good, a proper agent page. So if you check that now, as you can see, there's an image and there are phone numbers right there for when users go to his agent page. So the main purpose for him is, that, is to actually post properties. That's why he registered. So when you click on my listings, as you can see, he's a new agent and he has nothing on his, uh, on his profile right now regarding properties. So he needs to post something so he can get users to contact him. So we are going to create a property for him right now. So we say three bedroom apartment in a great location. The packet status is available. Then the mode is for rent. The property type is an house. The subtype is a detached duplex. This is achieved through Ajax. So when you select a field, it pre-populates the next field for you. So he's posting in Lagos State, and the city is Abulegba, and the area is Alagbado. Then it's the address for the location he wants to rent out could be something like um, 38. Precious clothes. Then the, rent, the rental amount for the property, maybe 500,000 Naira per year. So you could select if it's per year, per annum, or per month, or per week, per day, or per hour. But this particular property will be going out per year for 500,000 Naira. So the amount of bedrooms, recall it is a three bedroom apartment, three bedroom, three toilets, three bathrooms, then parking spaces too. Total area is mostly for land, but we could also put something here if we know the total land area of the property. Then furnished, is not furnished, it should come with its own furnish, its own furnitures and um, appliances. It's not serviced and it was newly built. Then we need to choose images to upload for this agent. So to get images for this agent, all we need to do is search um, for some images to upload. So we have some properties here we could use. I'm going to select um, these four images. Let's make them five. So I've selected five images for this property. Then let's assume he has a YouTube link. He has gone to the, the agent has gone to the property to make a video and he has uploaded that on YouTube. So you can put in the link. 
Then the description of the property could be anything well built property for rent. Then you post the property. Recall previously when we came here, he had no property, but right now, Agent Samuel now has a property on his dashboard. And like a normal user, he can actually view this property. So this is the property he just posted. And if I go to the user side, like if I act like a user again, so if I click on all properties, you see the latest property that was posted, 38 Precious Clothes. So when users come, they see the new properties that have been posted by the agent. And this is the agent who posted the property. So when an agent posts his property on his dashboard, he can access everything through this link called My Listings. And he can edit his property. So maybe along the line, he realizes, oh, the landlord wants to take more. It's no longer 500,000, let's say um, 600,000. And then he remembered that the information he got from his field agent was not correct. Yes, the apartment was in Lagos, but uh, the location was not where he thought, uh, where they filled for him previously. So he had to change it. So it was at Alagbado before, and they told him, no, 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 no. You filled the wrong property for Alagbado, so it's at Abulegba now. So he can change that too. And all he needs to do is to update it. So you see the price has been changed. And also we've changed the location, the area for the property. So if we check it on the front, that will be reflected. Sorry, that was a deep profile. That will be reflected on the user side. So when the user checks the property, he can also see all those changes made on the go. So this is the update to the price which have been made by the agents and now that can be seen by the user on the front end. Also, the agent can decide to delete his property if he doesn't want the property on the site anymore. So aside editing and viewing it, you can also delete properties that you've been posted, you have posted. So he can delete the property and he has been asked, are you sure you want to delete this property? And yes, it's very certain. So that's that. The property has been deleted and he doesn't have any property anymore. If he wants more, he has to upload them. So that's that for the agent um, section. So as an agent, you can register on the site, you can post your pro property and you can get people to contact you when they see your property from the front end. Now the next part is the administrative part. The administrator is the one in charge of taking care of the site to ensure things don't break down. So as an administrator, you have some power to do things. You can view all properties by agents and you can also view all your agents. So you could edit them and you could delete and do more stuff than what normal agents can do. So right here we have an agent, we have an admin already logged in called Admin Ziggy and we can click on his admin page to view what he can do. Naturally, Admin Ziggy is also an agent so you could, he has his own listings, he has one listing, but as an admin, he can do more, he can see all properties by everybody and he can also see all agents. So I've just clicked on the admin link and this is the admin dashboard. So admin Ziggy can view all listings on the website. So I'll click on this and this is all the properties that have been listed on this website. He can do more, he can edit properties, he can delete them and he can also see them from the admin side. So if he wants to see this property right here, he could just click on it. And okay, this agent posted this particular property properly. So going back to the admin page, he can delete property. So there's a, there's a property right here that was not uploaded with a very good name. So maybe the agent was trying to check out the site to see if the functionalities are well done. And I believe he saw that. So Agent Ziggy doesn't want this, so he can delete the property. So he has been asked if he wants to delete it, and he says yes. So this property is gone. The property is gone. It can't be seen anymore on the front, neither can it be seen on the back. So the next step is he can also edit property. So there's a property right here with 111 in the, in the title. 
So we could just go back there and just take out the 111 and say something like updated now so we can see the change immediately. Then it could make it for rent. It could, okay, Ojokoro. So it could change the location of the property from Ojokoro to Abule Oja. It could also update the streets from that to something better or something he wants. Then it could also make the price better, 900,000. And the property has been updated successfully. So this is the property. We changed the title from 111 to updated no instead of now. So let's view it. The changes have been effected and you can see the 900,000 error has been updated. And he was not the original owner of this property, but as an admin, he can edit it. That was why he has more power than even the agent themselves. This particular property was posted previously by Mali Man. So going back to the admin dashboard, it can also administer the agents. So agents are the people who post the properties on the sites. And even as an agent himself, he can also view every other agent as an admin. That's what the administrative power gives to him. So on the admin dashboard, he can actually see a lot of information about all agents immediately. So the first agent here has an image, that's his ID, the name of the agent, and you can see this particular agent has zero listings. He has, not, he has not posted any property. This is email address and every other information. So right here under the action, it can view the agent page for this particular agent. And you can actually see, okay, no property really. Go back to the admin page, all agents. It could also edit the agent. So it could change the agent's name from, let's say, Precious, from Precious to Most Precious. It could also change the address of the agent to maybe add a number to it, 54 Irewale. And also, it could change the agent location. could also change the agent's image. And that's the agent as, who has been edited or, or has been updated. So from precious to most precious, and his image has also been updated. And also, as an admin, he can delete agents, especially agents that have not posted properties or those who have very funny names. So we have an agent here with a very funny name, he called himself Wahala Trouble. And even after registering on the 1st of June, 2021, he has not posted any property. So we don't want an agent like this on our platform. So you could delete him. And as you can see, you can't find Wahala agent here anymore. He has been deleted. So that's that for the admin part of um, the platform. So I've been able to walk you through what a user can do and what a user should expect. And I've also been able to walk you through what an agent should expect from the platform and what he can do as an agent. And also as an administrator, what you can get from the platform and what you can do. So I want to tell you that I appreciate the efforts um, that has been put in for me to get here, for me to be this, because um, the journey has not been quite easy and it has not been smooth. But one thing I appreciate is the fact that something I've always been thinking about, you know, is it possible to do this? How long will it take for me to do this? What kind of skill, what kind of, what, what amount of time do I need to put into this? I've been able to answer all those questions and this is a platform that was built by me, by myself, and it's just wonderful. And, I just appreciate Mode Academy for the opportunity to do this and to my colleagues who learned with me, I thank you for the challenge that you've been putting up to me every day because it made me better. Thank you for listening. I hope to see you all at the top.